Now the question is that uh, 7 to the power 6n minus 6 to the power 6n where n is an integer, in fact it's a positive integer because it is greater than 0, we have to find that from which of the following it is divisible by. Now uh, 7 to the power 6n minus 6 to the power 6n if n is any integer, uh, what I wish to do is that I want to bring it in the form of a to the power n minus b to the power n. For this we know that if n is odd, then a to the power n minus b to the power n is divisible by a minus b only. But if n is even, then a to the power n minus b to the power n is divisible by both the factor that is a minus b as well as a plus b. So my objective would be to take the even uh, n as even first. So to make the power even, but it is not given that n is even here. But uh, this thing can be manipulated like this way that 7 to the power 6n can be written as 7 cube whole to the power 2n. By taking 2n in the power, we can, uh, we can be sure that this for any value of n, 2n will be or 2n will always be even number. And the next thing is 6 to the power 6n can be written as 6 to the power 3 to the power 2n. Now this particular expression we have brought in in the form of a to the power n minus b to the power n where n is even or the power is even. So this thing or the expression will be divisible by 7 cube minus 6 cube as well as 7 cube plus 6 cube. So let's uh, put the value. So 7 cube is 343 minus 6 cube is 216 and the next is it will be 343 plus 216. On further simplification, we can write this particular term as 127 into, and this term will be will be 9 plus 5 plus 5, so it will be 559. So these two things are given in the options also. So B, C, so definitely the by elimination, we can say that D should be the answer, all of these. Although 13, we have not got it directly, but we can observe that this number is a multiple of 13. So the answer for this question is option D, that is all of these numbers.